assistant in the studios with us this morning they are going to be pitching the ideas and then today we're going to officially open the voting platform so after they finish today we'll be able to op open the platform for you to start voting so all the videos of the people that have come on the program the entrepreneurs we had about 10 of them but at the end of the day now we're just going to go with nine because one particular person uh, we will not been able to reach him so we're going to post all of the videos on our platform for you to go and vote for them so we're going to be doing that today on the program once we finish this uh, pitching then we'll go into that i have my judge in the studios with me this morning he's uh john paul iwoha good morning to you sir good morning good morning lagos always a pleasure to be here Yes, yeah, so John Paul Iwoha is the CEO of Activator HQ. He's a business activator. And uh, without wasting time, we'll go straight now to meet our entrepreneurs as they are ready for us, uh, ready to talk to the whole world today about your businesses. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Nigeria. Now, I think it, it's time for you now to talk about your business, introduce yourself and everything about your business. You have 15 minutes, so you can use it well. You can stop at 10 minutes, you can stop at 5, but you can go on for 15 minutes talking about your business. At the end of the day, we'll ask you questions. So, go ahead. Uh, maybe the guideline, um, when you want to pitch, I have this four-step format that will help you be very concise and will help you be um, very convincing the first is who spend the first couple of seconds telling us who you are the name of your company the second is what what kind of business are you into what is your product about what value do you deliver to the marketplace what problem do you solve essentially about the what then the next is the how how do you make your magic hap happen how do you make the product how do you sell the product how do you serve your customers how do you make money from the business essentially all the how parts and then the last part is why. Why do you need the money from the prize? If you, if you win the 500,000 uh, grand prize, what are you going to use it for? Why is it important? Um, how is it going to impact your business? Um, why, why does it mean a lot to you to be involved in this competition? Why are you in the business? What is the source of inspiration? And essentially everything around your why. So it's very simple. Who, what, how, why. And if you keep it this way, you use your time very well. Thank you. So, so let's 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 start let the challenge begin is there no way to move this yeah go, go ahead okay good Sorry, morning sir. everyone good morning to my audience good morning to the organizers activator hq and um, voice of the people thank you for the opportunity you're giving to entrepreneurs my name is um Idaneme happiness obi and um, i'm the founder of citadel variety supplies Citade Variety Supplies is an agribusiness that specializes in sourcing, processing, packaging, and distribution of indigenous Nigerian foods. The foods we eat daily. Foods such as um, the dry fish, catfish, um, egusi, obono, crayfish, and everything you consume in your kitchen. Over time, we discovered that while we have some of these things around us, there are so many of our brothers and sisters who are far away from us who do not have access to some of these products and they are in their need of it. I'm speaking of um, our Japa community. Every day, Nigerians are relocating abroad for one reason or the other. If you go to the airport this minute, we see the crowd over there. And um, they always have a need. They always have this food need. We discover that um, when they get over there, they have very difficult time. Um, they, uh, dif they experience difficulty assessing some of these are uh, indigenous foods. No matter how long you relocate, you will always crave for what you are used to, what you are known for, what you grew up with. So there is a high need for them, and most of them don't have access to it. And even when they do, it comes at a very high price. And this market is huge. If you check the number of um, Nigerians relocating to different countries of the world. You see that there's a huge market out there that has not been fully harnessed. So, Citadel Variety Supplies focus on creating quality products for Nigerians within and outside the country. We, we do this by um, 
given i am through the use of social media we create awareness of what we do through the use of social media is a, a major platform because um since they are not in nigeria um reaching them online is the best and we have tested the market and seen that these people are willing and open to buy just that there is an issue of um, trust there is an issue of what i ordered versus what i got but so far we have had good experience we have got, had them um, good referrals and uh, we have had returning customers and um you are seeing that this is a market that the audience are ready the customers are ready but the sellers are few and we are taking that as an opportunity is a huge need food security is a huge need is one of the goals um united nations advocate for food security and we are we are trying to meet these goals through our business how do we how do we assess this um how do we meet this um, our customers we use the social media to market to them they reach out to us tell us what they they want and we come to an agreement and um, process it for them ship it for them and they get it at the comfort of their homes the convenience the fact that wherever they are in the world they have access to our food this is what many of us when we turn our left turn our right we have access to these things but many of them don't have it and they are really craving for it um what are we doing with um this money if we win it when this business was started it started as um, a small side business but with time we discovered that there are so many people that are really in need of this and um we started to grow as the demand increases we increase our products but with time our supplier messed us up um we used to for now we source our products from farms especially our catfish which is our number one selling product um we source it from farms we process it and send down to us then we ship to our customers all over the world we had an experience some time ago where a product that was ordered two cartons of fish plus another type of fish was ordered and because of them um, maybe the carelessness or the nonchalancy of um, our processor the thing was over dried and before it goes to its um, final destination which is italy two cartons were completely broken while we are in business to make fun we suffered uh, to make profits we suffered a huge loss and in order to retain uh cost our uh, business standard we were forced to pay but it messed our um image up before the customer so we felt there is a um, we need to work on this we can't continue to create bad image before the people we are trying to convince to become our customers and um the need to get a smoking king came up we have um met some um, fabricators and um, um discussed with price that was long before this whole economy thing came up and we know that with this 500,000 we'll be able to get a smoking key meet up with customers demand and reach a very broad market so we are pleading with um, the audience the organizers of this um, empowerment program to please consider citadel variety supplies as um, a, a fit business for this fund because we are meeting a special need and we know that you helping us meet our own need will create much more impact beyond this um, environment thank you okay great thank you you used your your time well you have uh, questions for happiness yes yeah, so while your picture was going on i was um, i wasn't very clear if it's a business idea you have or an existing business but toward the end towards the end of your pitch you clarified the moment you mentioned you are shipped to italy because while on the surface this is a trading business, it's actually a complicated business because it involves international trade. There's an export element of it. So you have to look at uh, standards around exports, all the protocols, how you're going to get paid and things like that. And I know that's usually a challenge if you have not started. But if you're already doing it, it's likely you've already sorted out those issues. So for, the, for my benefit and for the benefit of the audience, I want to understand... How many, typically, how many transactions do you do in a year? How long has this business been on? For example, uh, uh, first of all, how many transactions do you typically do in a year? Which country is your top, give me like your top three destination countries where your demand comes from? 
Thank you very much, sir. It's an existing business that started um, December 2021, okay. but we took a break after the the whole mess with our, our suppliers. Um, for shipping issue, we for our country for a country like Italy, we have um, a woman that comes into the country to cargo goods. Okay. So the exporting issue is not something we have faced. She, we just give it to her and um, you pay her and she sorts out, yes, she gets it to yes, Italy. Yes, yes. Okay, so you have a special person for Italy. Yes. What about other countries in Europe? What about US where you have a lot of Nigerians? Canada where you have a lot of Nigerians? Even China too. Yeah. We, we, for now, we've not gone to China, but mm. to, we have shipped to the UK. The mm. Italy, UK, and Canada so far are top countries, especially Italy. And for the U, for UK, we have um, an agent that finds a way around. I don't know how she does it, but she ships our protein because UK government doesn't really allow some proteins into their country. But like a smoked catfish. Yes. Okay. Yeah. She does. The UK government doesn't allow it, but at an extra cost, she ships it. Although at a longer time, sometimes it will take two weeks, but we always have it delivered at the doorstep of our customers okay so are you selling uh, what they call dtc direct to customers so somebody a nigerian abroad orders a household orders is that who you are selling to are you selling to a business owner like uh, somebody who runs an african shop that will resell what you're giving to them we sell to both we sell to end consumers and um, direct consumers and the the transaction i talked about where a customer ordered to it was our first try and she's um, a, a business owner in italy okay that was our first trial with us so she tested our, our business with two cartons which eventually was messed up so we are open to business to business and b to c okay so last question between um 2021 when you started and now how many just give us an idea how many co completed transactions have you done including the italy one is it 10 20 how just give us a we have had close to 50. Close to fifty yes, transactions, sir. yes, sir. And of the fifty, it's just that one Italy one that had the, the yes, issue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Like how many the catfish say you have cartons? Like how many in a carton? Okay, um, a catfish is processed at twenty five kg in in its life state, and when it's caught for the caught ones, it's caught into um, a standard hundred pieces. Okay. Then we have the folded carton, which uh, at a standard size comes at fifty to seventy pieces. So, so what's the profit margin? How profitable is this business? It's a very profitable business. Number one is um is a fast consumable uh, goods. Mm -hmm. Then there is a profit. Okay, when we started the business, we were buying carton at thirty two thousand. That was when we started, and for every carton, we make nothing less than ten thousand. Okay. So for every after you take you remove the money for the transportation yes, and everything, you yeah. know that you have ten thousand yes, for every cattle. For every cattle we make ten thousand. That is for the catfish. And we have other products we sell along because it's full stuff. People want to buy fish, want to buy a goose, want to buy bonacre fish, shrimps and the rest of them. So most of them go into a carton and at the end of the day there's um a profit that keeps you going. when you say ten thousand, is it You've removed the cost of uh, paying your your um, transporter, so I did, as a net profit. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. That is a net okay. profit. That, that's good. And you said the the five hundred k, if you win it, five hundred thousand, if you win it, is going specifically to oh. buy a kiln. A smoking kiln. Okay. So you can process all your catfish yes, yourself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I think. Thank you very much. Now let's move to the next person here. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, and. Um, I want to say I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be here. I'm grateful to God. I'd like to also say a very big thank you to Mary and I for Debbie and to Mr. John Paul Iwa. Thank you so much for being impactful with this um, platform. And to the Voice of the People radio station, thank you so much for this platform. My name is Eri Olua Odewumi, and I am a baker. And the name of my business is Yom Indulgence Bakery. Yum Indulgence Bakery is a niche business that is specialized in the production of fruit-based cakes. So we take up fruits and we whip them up with um, some basic ingredients to make some very yummy and delicious cakes. Uh, in general, or what we call uh, um, regular baking, a lot of artificial and um, processed ingredients are combined together to make cakes. But for us at Yum Indulgence Bakery, we make things better. 
we take up fruits like um, guavas, mangoes, sour soap, uh, bananas. We use um, spices like ginger seeds, berry seeds, sesame seeds. We use, you know, different nuts like cashew nuts, almonds, and a lot more. And we make them, we process them into uh, cakes. So for this reason, our cakes are actually nutritionally loaded and they um, add nutritional benefits and they are nutritionally valuable in comp I mean, compared to other regular cakes. And also in uh, normal regular cakes, a lot of processed fats like butter and margarine go into the production. But for us at Yum Indulgence, you know, we make things better because our product or, and our ingredients have natural oils that infuses natural flavors into our cakes. And so this makes them taste very unique and natural you know it's just like having your roasted uh, granite with with plantain that's natural feel that it gives that's what we actually replicate we only make things better by you know making them into delicious cakes and right now we have a product line of uh, four specific products we have our ginger spiced vanilla cakes which you know it's a mix of an, an infusion of ginger with some spices and it's perfect for customers who like spicy things we also have our toasted coconut and mixed nut cakes which is you know a blend and mix of different kind of nuts so every bite is just about nuts and nuts then we also have our banana and chocolate cakes which is a rich blend of you know chocolate with banana very luscious and very rich and we have our zesty cherry and berry as the name implies it's all about flavorful zest with uh, different kinds of cherries and berries and um, our products are actually very fast and convenient to use and to convert into any form of meals that you so desire you can have them with a cup of tea or coffee as breakfast you can have them for snack or lunch you can also have them even as desserts you can spread them with your favorite fruit jam or your peanut butter or any kind of spread you like you can pan toast them and make them warm you know and enjoy it with a cup of your chilled wine or whatever you so desire so it's actually very fast and convenient to turn into any type of meal that you desire um, we didn't actually just decide to go into this niche of baking um, we we actually listened to our, to our customers and um, we listened to the challenges that they have and we decided to tailor suitable solutions and that is why we niched down into this line of baking so for example we've had customers who are moms who have told us you know what um i need to get to work as early as 7 a.m i need to fix my uh my, my family for for work for school to prepare the children and at the same time i want to beat traffic can you come up with something that i can have we can all have very fast and convenient for breakfast and everybody will be ready for work and you know to get on for the day and our product is serving that kind of you know serving that solution to that kind of challenge we've had customers who have told us you know i'm already above 50 i'm trying to cut down on you know refined sweeteners and all of that and um uh, can you just come up with something that i can eat because i still love my sweets i still love to eat cakes and um, i have a sweet tooth but i just want to be able to watch my health and all that so of course um, um, our, our products also prefer solutions to that kind of challenge in fact i've had um, we have had a, a client who specifically told us that you know what for my child's next birthday i want to have a complete cake that we can eat everything i don't want to have to throw any part of it away i don't want to have to pay for an icing part which is just fat and sugars that I will end up throwing it away. So can you just come up with something that I can eat everything? I would know that we have value for our money. And you know, for this kind of uh, specific challenges, our, our products prefer solutions and to many more that we can't, you know, I can't even start explaining or talking about right now. So for this kind of challenges and uh, for other kinds of problems, which we cannot even mention, we know that winning the startup prize will help us to reach a wider audience uh, because uh, we are looking at using a, a, a larger chunk of that money which is about 60 percent of that money to reach a specific and more uh, wider audience through marketing which is going to be by social media especially and other forms of media 
but you know that larger amount of money we're going to push it into marketing so that we can reach a wider audience that we can prefer this kind of solutions to with our fast and convenient product and um we are also going to be able to push our product into some special or specific or specific stores which i'll call a star market i call them star, star markets because these are already markets that have uh, an audience that we're looking to reach so re having our our cakes in the, those um stores in those star markets will enable us to be able to reach a wider audience and it will help us to increase our demand uh, uh, when we run our marketing with with that 60 percent part of the startup price and so winning that startup price and um running our social media with so much uh, uh demand coming in will help us to be able to also increase our scale of production so right now currently we co can conveniently make this size of our uh, of our cake in three and a half hours you can make five of this size that i'm holding right now you know we can make five of it conveniently in three and a half hours but we know that the startup price will help us to be able to get some basic materials and equipment that will help us to push up and scale up our production into 27 pieces at about the same three and a half hours so uh, when we have a larger demand by our marketing then we know that we can be able to meet up with that demand with the startup price uh, when we get the basic equipment that we require and also uh, for now we have some sort of challenges uh, especially with the instability in the prices of of commodities and raw materials that we use in production for the mark uh, in, in the market which is actually uh, peculiar with every other business right now in the country and um, this challenge is it, this this challenge just makes uh, the, the prices of our of our cakes you know to shift uh, at intervals because we also need to cover the cost of production and because they are also fruit based cakes it means that the customer needs to re refrigerate the cakes so that it can serve longer and it can keep fresher and also we also have the option where our customers can customize their request to meet their suitable needs or taste whatever they so uh, desire now looking at the profitability uh, we have a, we have a 30 35 percent profit margin for our production which is able to cover up for you know for making our business to 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 be sustainable so that you know it can keep pushing itself even after we have produced and we have cut off every cost of production we have a 35 percent profit margin so um winning this price is going to help us to be able to you know to produce uh, a, a lot of of these cakes like i said earlier with with that profit margin we know that the business can keep itself running it, it is sustainable and it is viable and um, i would like to say that we are happy to produce this in enormous you know enormous amounts for our customers we will also want them to enjoy the rich and good side of life through our yum and indulgent cakes thank you yeah mm. uh, thank you very much okay uh, I have a few questions. Today it's been very interesting. We've heard the first person in happiness. Uh, she spoke so well, and uh, we've heard you now. Now for the cake, I, I, when did you, your this business, this yummy indulgence? When did you start this business? Um, thank you for that question. I've been in. We've been in the baking business for quite some time, well over five years. But uh, niching down into this particular niche of, you know, food, fruit based cake has been going to three years now. So largely we have, you know, we have tried out, use that time to try out different kinds of, uh, of flavors and to get feedbacks from our customers. And with all the positive feedbacks that we've gotten, you know, we feel that it is a good time now to launch deeply into it. And that is why, you know, we, we are looking at winning the startup price so we can push our marketing and get, be able to reach more audience okay thank you then do you uh, have more? this cake the one you're holding yes sir how much does it go for this is five thousand five hundred naira. okay five thousand five hundred yes sir. okay so the reason i'm asking is i want to know how this alternative okay. cake it is a healthier version yes. contains local um, um, ingredients it's much more versatile than the average birthday yes. cake and all that yes, right it is. 
but for somebody who has a party okay. and is looking at ordinarily would have gone for like a 12 inch cake okay sir. now you've said a lot of nice things about your product particularly you got me around the icing part where i know for most people if you buy cake most of the icing is gone yes. even the kids these days we don't encourage them to take icing yes. now it, now those are the upsides but when it comes to the pricing how do you compare to for example a 12 inch birthday cake okay. if you're going to do the alternative yes okay so if you are going to have uh, this for for the uh, an alternative to the 12 inch birthday cake first you know that what you are having is is natural it is rich and um, you are going to eat everything about it so there's nothing wasting to it so um having you can definitely cut it into bite sizes for people that you want to give to at your event so it's it's just you know a feel of the the, the goodness that it brings it's it's and the, the taste is very different from the regular cakes so you can definitely t convert it we, we can do that in different shapes we can you know, make them in different shapes and also make them into what we call naked cakes for your event so uh it's what what, we, what i mean by naked cake is that we are not going to cover it with icing there, there are ways we use using decorating it to make it very good to the for for your event that is going to be attractive and it looks very beautiful too so they are called naked cakes but you are sure that you're going to eat every part of it there's nothing that we get into waste okay yeah. okay the other question i want to ask is um around your your marketing okay who are the typical customers that buy from you? Are they like individuals, households, or are you selling to businesses? Okay, sir. So we have individuals who buy from us. We we have um, um, biz other businesses who also buy to sell. That's why I said that we are looking to put um, to put our cakes into stores so that it can have easy accessibility for our clients to to get them. So we have um, other businesses that also buy them from us and they resell. And we also have. Um, corporate organizations that we set up for corporate events like um, 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 breakfast meetings. We also do desert tables. So it can also be served at events. It, it depends on what exactly that you want to give it to. So it can be for look for individuals or for corporate uh, use or for you know uh, markets to other uh, businesses. You mentioned star customers. You yes. said you, I, I think you call them star, star markets. Star markets. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Okay. Like I said, these are already uh, stable uh, um, businesses. Already have stable customers that okay. you know we are trying to the kind of customers we are trying to reach. But the why I call them star market is because their own uh, customer base is already stable. You know they are already in business. So we just want to partner with them so we can have our cakes on their you know shelves or in their you know in their outlets okay um one common thing that happens in nigeria is that people see a product that is doing well and the very common thing is that the copycats come in they see oh this cake stands out and then it's selling so they they come and they start doing your own cakes too and they start calling them organic cakes or healthy cakes so what is it about this business about this product that cannot be copied no matter how hard your competitors try okay so we have our um, unique unique um, recipe that we use that is that that's why i said that we have tried this going to three years now we've tried different kind of recipes and we've come to a recipe because we've had different feedbacks and uh, even people outside the, the outside nigeria have come back to request for this specifically so we have our own special recipe that is unique to us and you cannot get anywhere okay yes thank you now another question i have is your production right now do you do this alone or you have people working with you to produce all of these cakes uh, i have we have a, a a team of just you know two persons that make this for now and um, we just get contract workers if we have a, a lot of orders orders for now so uh we have a team but we are looking to increase by you know when we scale up and we have more demand Okay, are you working from home or you have a place where you do the products? Yes, we uh, currently, we, I have, we have an off, do I say like a production site from home. So there's, there's a production site in the home where we work, where from our home, but there's a production site of, of okay, maybe a section, a place for, yes, for, for production. production, yes. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, no other question. No, the, the, the two of them have presented uh, <laughs> very well, as usual, making, yeah. making life difficult for the judges and for the audience, which is very good. It shows that the, the
the competition is a uh, is yeah it's quite it's quite tough now yeah. today is the last day after today uh we'll have uh, from now let's say from 3 p.m today you can start voting from 3 p.m we'll have all of the videos of the contestant people that have come for this program we'll have all their videos so you can go to the whatsapp channel there's a whatsapp channel for this that you can go to and vote the three x startup prize lagos now to go to that whatsapp channel because that's where we want the vote to go to we want it to be very transparent for everybody if you are not on that channel right now i would like you to go there so that you can support the, your favorite entrepreneur so now what you what you will do is to go take this is the whatsapp number 0913 four five six one one eight eight now that's the number i'll take it again zero nine one three four five six one one eight so what you do is send a whatsapp message to this number once you send it the a link will be sent to you automatically that link you will click on it and to take you straight to that channel so what you do is follow the channel you will see the video there are some videos there just one video for now but by 3 p.m all of the videos will be there so you can now go there watch it it's okay this is the person i'm voting for then just like it just like it so there are videos there that will have 100 likes 200 likes 50 likes so from there we will we'll, we'll know the person that is gaining the person that is uh, getting a lot of votes so it's going to be that transparent now that is 40 percent you need a hundred hundred percent to win so the judge here the judges here that have listened will have sixty percent sixty percent say on who wins this uh challenge this set of prize who will win it so forty percent will come from the audience so now you can go now just send a whatsapp message if you're not on the channel yet go there is zero nine one three four five six one one eight zero nine one three four five six one one eight eight so for other people that have come i know other entrepreneurs are listening they're listening right now and uh, the vote is going to start today by three and it's going to end next week by next week uh tuesday we're ending the vote because on thursday next week that's when we're going to announce the winner we're not taking long we're not it's not gonna we're not gonna yeah. drag it yeah. so by next week thursday we'll be presenting the checks to the winner and it's going to be a very interesting time so what will happen is every day we'll keep talking about you going to vote and giving you uh, information about what's going on with the three extra prize as we move straight to the final day where we get to meet our finalist and then we'll talk i know you want to uh, add to what we've been saying now you've you've pretty much covered everything well the voting will start today um hopefully before three we should be able to get all the because yes. we've cut the videos to show the pitch of each contestant and then we will upload it and then of course put, put their name there and um it's up to us and the contestants to get people into the channel to vote like mary said it's 40 percent it will carry 40 percent weight in the in the voting and by Thursday, by this time on Thursday next week, we're going to be announcing our, our top three finalists. Uh, the grand prize of 500,000 Naira, second prize of uh, 300,000 Naira, and then the third prize of 200,000 Naira. So um, I'm, I'm very happy how this whole process has... I've been very wowed by the quality of contestants or the quality of, of finalists you, you know the interesting thing people are beginning to send me messages that they want to be part of uh, the show they want to pitch their idea i'm like okay what well, you were not following but it was open for months yes yeah, right? so, so so that's what usually happens there's going to be another edition of this well, yeah. but this one will come in to the end of the 3x startup prize lagos the maiden edition of it so it's been really interesting i will continue to talk about it continue to encourage entrepreneurs that you don't need a lot of money to do business what you need is the information and that is what we give to you here we give you here every thursday from monday to friday thursdays are usually very special because that's when we get to really go into serious conversation about how you can expand your business now because we still have some time 
uh, our contestant, you did not uh, market your business. You didn't tell us the social media handle to go to. So because we have a, f a few minutes to give and you did not finish your time, your 15 minutes, I don't know if you want to give out your social media handle so people can go check you out. Thank you once again, Mary. So the listeners to Lagosians and Nigeria as a whole, please check my business out at um, Citade Variety Supplies on Instagram. Citade Variety Supplies. Then on Facebook, we have a, a business account there, but um, we use our personal. I use my personal profile more for the business, so you can check at Idaneme Happiness or B. Hmm. Please, oh, how do we spell it? I, I, I done you, know, you, have, you have to spell it out, and then don't forget our audience. There are people that are tuning in from outside the country with the way you've talked about your products and catfish. If they want to order now, what should they do? Please, if you want to order now, please just reach me out on my WhatsApp. Your number, spell it my out. My number yeah. is plus two, plus two three one. Eight, two three four. We're in plus Nigeria, two, right? Three four. <laughs> uh, you don't want Jack Whoa. <laughs> plus two three four mm. eight one seven double zero three nine five one three. I take it again. Plus two three four eight one seven double zero three nine five one three. Please, if you want that healthy food stuff, that catfish where you open it and you are not scared of warm, you are not scared of sand, the crayfish and the goose and the rest of them, please support my business. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank you. Uh, great. Now, lower, yeah? okay, sir. So, um, for us, you know, um, our our Instagram handle is quite virgin, like I mentioned in the pitch, we are looking at using a larger chunk of that money for. Uh, marketing so we can get demands from social media but you can still follow us at um, yum.indulgence on instagram yum.indulgence that's our instagram handle and then you can reach us on our phone number 0810-789-1917 0810-789-1917 and if, if in case you are listening to us from diaspora you have anybody in town who is coming over, which is what we do for clients in the diaspora. You can just um, tell them to get this for you. Uh, you can reach us by adding the code plus 234-810-789-1917. Plus 234-810-789-1917. So yum.indulgence on Instagram. Mm. Uh, Mary, I, I want to. There's something very important. I I need our audience to to okay. pay attention go, go, to. Go ahead. The three X startup prize for anybody who is looking at it on the surface, things that what is on the table is the money. They are right, but they are also wrong because there are actually five star benefits from mm. this. Mm. The second thing you are getting is that for many of you, this is the first time you are pitching. All of this time, your idea has been in your head, but this competition has forced you to articulate what you are about. Um, what the value your business pre presents. If you are going to raise money, what are you going to use it for? Many of you are generals in your business. You are not used to being asked questions. You are the one that tell people what to do. But then now you have you have you've been you've been disciplined to articulate and then pitch. This confidence will not easily go away. So next time you are pitching to somebody, now you have gotten training. Now you have been on radio speaking to thousands of people. So it will never it will not give you palpitations the next time you get the opportunity. The third benefit is the marketing your business. You're on live radio and thousands of people are listening to you. So if you're going to get this by buying um, ads on social media or putting something in newspaper or coming to VOPFM and saying I want to advertise my business, you will see how much they will charge you. But because you got into the top 10, you are getting the platform for free. The other benefit you are getting from this is that by the time we announce the winners on Thursday, the 10 of you are coming into a private mentoring session with me directly. Now, this is something that ordinarily, I don't know how many of you will be able to afford it. But for four weeks, any challenges you have with your business, you have direct access to me. There are many people that are dying for that access, but what it took you was applying and getting into the top 10. And just because of that, that door has been opened. And so far, everything I've said has not cost you a dime. So this is why it's important for people, one, to pay attention. There are people who were like, what's the point? I, I will not win. There are hundreds of people that are applying. But you see that by being in the top 10, 
they even if you don't win you only you only missed one point but you still got the advantage of the marketing you're getting the mentoring you're getting the pitching opportunity you know all of all those things so it's important for our members that whenever you need to compete for something i keep telling people it's not just about the money at the i said there are five i only mentioned four mm -hmm. the fifth one is that if you're going to apply for anything anywhere you're going to apply for a grant you're going to apply for a loan you're pitching to an investor there is something you have just added to your cv i was a finalist in the 2024 3x startup prize so and they take it very seriously because they know a lot of people compete and then you go to top 10 so it's not it's not easy so it's something you can put in there so i mean i was a, a finalist in the in the uh, 3x startup prize and it gives you instant credibility because if you've competed you know how to articulate your thoughts you know how to pitch your business you know how to think on your feet some of the questions i asked you here you didn't know about it in advance so all of all these things are part of the things that build an entrepreneur but people that want to just jump, they're like, just give me money and it will be okay. No, money alone does not build a business. What builds an, a business is an entrepreneur that has capacity. And what makes you have capacity is this kind of exposure, the experience, the contacts, the relationships, the networks. So thank you very much for participating. And I hope other people are listening to the doubting Thomases or the ones who were too lazy to apply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And someone is asking for a number here on YouTube. Some uh, some two is asking for a number. I don't know if the number for the channel or number for any product. Uh, what you can be specific so that uh, we'll give you the number you're looking for. But for the number for if you want to uh, vote, you want to support your favorite entrepreneur, this is the number zero nine one three four five six one one eight eight that's the number you have to be on whatsapp it's happening there whatsapp whatsapp you can call the number if you don't have whatsapp then get someone that has whatsapp just send a message to this line save this line send a message we'll automatically send you a link and then you join the channel the channel just follow it and if you follow the channel, it's not just about voting. The other things that are going to be on that channel. You'll get updates on when we're going to have another one, uh, uh, episodes from the program, and lots more. So it's good you join an educative uh, channel where you can learn. So 0913-456-1188. That's the number. Now, to round off, uh, to round off the program today, next week is the time we're going. Next week is going to be uh the finals the finals of the finals where we're going to be giving out the prizes so the winners will be contacted before next week thursday now but a recap on what the 3x uh startup prize lagos is all about how it started and uh, how it, it has been yeah so like uh like everything in business anybody who is an entrepreneur can relate to this you start something not knowing where it will lead you and all of a sudden, down the road, you're like, wow, I never saw this from the beginning. That's how the 3X Startup Prize started. It started from a simple partnership between Activator HQ, which I represent, and VOP. And we were on radio every Thursday talking to Lagosians about different aspects of business. We've talked about how to prevent fraud in your business, how to find uh, lucrative business ideas, how to increase sales in your business, how to fix a business that is no longer working. There are many topics we've talked about on this radio. But then there are people who are like, ah, but all of this is theory. My problem is money. My problem is capital, capital. So I said, you know, let's 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 put our mouth where our, let's put our money where our mouth is. If you know that you have an idea that is worth its salt, if you know that you have an idea, you have a business that is either an idea or is already working, and you can back it up with your pitch, we are ready to put up money to support you. And that's how the 3X Startup Prize has come live so this is not one of those programs on radio where we we tell you we have been telling we've been we've been talking about business and opportunities and business problems and challenges for months for almost nine months and we ended it up by putting money on the table and saying our listeners co compete for this money so i think it's a it's a big kudos to uh, vop 90.3 fm is big kudos to activator hq and uh, we think if if this is applied more across the country entrepreneurs are very creative people but what i don't support is just giving somebody money to go and uh, build a business because money alone is not is not sufficient what we lack in the country is capacity and it is lacking if you want to get business training you cannot get it in our universities these days they are thinking more they are, they are teaching more for component labor if you want to learn is either you go and do 
an apprenticeship under somebody or you go to business school and these things are expensive time wise or money wise but if we're using a platform like radio like vop 90.3 fm has presented more people can learn and then when chances like the 3x startup price come you never can tell how far 200,000 naira will go or 300,000 naira will go and 500,000 naira will go and to end with the big vision we have for this is that in five years time we want to look back and we want to see people who are saying you know five years ago i won the third prize on 3x and today my business used to be in lagos but now i'm in i'm in ibadan i'm in i'm in enugu i'm in potakot i'm spread across i started this business exporting uh, catfish to italy now my name is almost you know everywhere and in fact i now i now own a home in italy but i don't want to jack back because the jackpot market is my market. so those are the kinds of stories mm. that we want to that we want to get that's why this is seed capital we don't know where it will get you to but we know it will get you somewhere as long as you're an entrepreneur you have a dream and you keep working on that business definitely whatever support we give you here in terms of knowledge or in terms of finance it will definitely get you far we want to join you on that journey yeah, thank you so much, uh, John Paul. And I want to thank everybody that's been listening to us from the beginning of the the program till now. And from when we started the 3X Startup Prize, I want to really appreciate you to tell you that it's not over yet. So next week, Thursday, that's when we we'll announce the, the winner. Grand finale. The grand finale. So keep a date with us. We'll be here again next week, Thursday, for the 3X Startup Prize Lagos Grand Finale. And that is going to be glorious and awesome. Uh, I want to thank you, Oralua, for coming. I want to thank you, Happiness, and the, every other person that uh, come on the program. I wish I could mention all of your names, uh, but I can't do that right now because of time. So I want you to listen up. You get a call. You will, you will, if you're the winner, you get a call from us that you have won the 3X startup prize. And then when you come in, you get to know if you're the wait, if you're the f getting the first bride, the second, or the third. So, Mary, to be clear, we're inviting the, the three finalists, but they will not know if they are first, second, or third. Yes. We will announce it here and get the pleasure of watching the reaction on their faces. <laughs> <laughs> so, awesome. So, thank you so much. I'll give out the number again for you to vote. By 3 p.m. today, you're going to see all of the videos on the channel so that you can vote. So for every person that's come to the studio, every business owner, this is a time for you to send the link to all your loved ones. Everybody, tell them, please, this is the video. Please like it. Like the video. Follow the channel. Like it. Because that's how they will support you. Imagine you get a lot of likes from there. That will do a whole lot of good because we want to be transparent with the voting and the winners and everything so zero nine one three four five six one one eight eight zero nine one three four five six one one eight eight so that's number we're voting on the channel so send him a whatsapp message we'll send you the link click on the link follow the channel and then you see the videos don't worry the next edition there will be phone uh, people that don't have a uh, whatsapp you'll be able to call in to vote for your favorite person because i know people say oh, i don't have that kind of phone i want to vote for this person don't worry the next one will have that so you can call in and vote thank you very much thank you lagos uh, i'll be here again tomorrow we'll continue tomorrow 9 30 for another episode of business around town but next week thursday uh we'll be here next week thursday will be 28 so yeah, uh, yeah so that's gonna be so thank you thank you so much john paul Iwoha. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. John Poiwa is the CEO of Activator HQ. My name is Mary Onaife Edebi. Coming up next is Area Mata. Keep it here. We are the voice of the people, 90.3 FM. Are you looking for the perfect getaway?